Hey, what's up people? Brian Hamer here. I want to talk about how do you deal with frustrating people? When frustrating people enter your life or they become frustrating people having not started out that way, how do you deal with them? What sort of power do you give these frustrating people in your life? Do they have the first position or do they have the second position? Or do they have total control? I think how you deal with frustrating people is really determined by how much power you give that individual. If you give that person the first position, which is when you wake up in the morning, you're thinking about that person. When you go to bed at night, you're thinking about that person. Every single thing that you do during your day is about that frustrating person or those frustrating individuals. You talk about them at dinner, you talk about them in your casual conversations with others, and you are more obsessed about them than they are even involved in your life. That's because you gave them that much power. Do you put them in the second position? And when I say the second position, I mean they're right beside you. They don't have as much power, but they're still close. And the third position, I like to call it, is the non-existent position, which is in your rear view mirror. You don't see them, you don't think about them, and you simply move on. And, you know, I like to say words are windy yet blows are unkind. So you just leave them be. Give them enough rope to hang themselves. Don't give them the power to influence your actions and your days. Because frustrating people can have as much power as you give them or allow them. So dealing with frustration, dealing with the frustration that these people cause and dealing with frustrating people doesn't have to be so difficult. What's difficult is forgetting them. What's difficult is taking back your power. And what's difficult is making them extremely insignificant. Once you achieve that, you'll be much happier. <laughs> Thanks again for listening. My name is Ryan Hamer and y'all have a good one. I'm out.